everyone, Crafting Vicky here with you, and I've got another project that I want to do with in, with uh, envelopes. And but first, I want to make them interesting. And Peggy suggested that uh, it would be nice to use brushes or in the color burst from um, Kenneth Craft. And I, I told her I have a lot. It's just that I. You know, like many other things, it's uh, I start using something and I get very excited about it, and then I forget about it. So I've got a draw, a little drawer that's in one of those uh, Michael's uh, storage, and so I pulled out my little drawer and I brought it here so that I can uh, play with these and do something with them, and then I'll let them dry, and uh, I will eventually do my project. But I want you guys to be able to see this and maybe it would give you some ideas. Now, I wonder if I wet this first and then I do this. A little bit more. I love this. I love this stuff. I tend to not forget about using it. I kind of like the that it left all uh, the different spots of colors, and uh, I've got some metallic one which I haven't used yet. Wow! I guess those are liquid. are add a dazzling drop of metallic luster to everything you create okay I'm not quite what I wanted but that's okay need to experiment and what better way to experiment than with cheap envelopes I mean it's not like I'm uh, spending a fortune here they're uh, just recycled envelopes and if they don't turn out good well who cares at least I tried much better trying out the stuff with this than with uh, expensive oh nice I like this this be pretty on the gray Messy, this one is. Uh, actually, reactivated some of it. I've got another gray one here. This is so much fun, so messy, and I love messy. Forget my nails are disgusting, but that's what happens when you work mixed media. Oh, I love this, love it. Now, what if I added a bit of this, which is the star, the Lindy starburst sprays oh fun yummy so I'm putting them up to dry on my um, 
on that thing that I have, which is good for clothes, but it's a really cheapo thing from the dollar store. I'm not sure how good it would be in reality for clothes, but it's just perfect for uh, for paper. In uh, when I go camping, I use that type of thing to hold on uh, to my um, towel dishes and that towel uh, for the dishes. It's perfect for that. It's not too heavy. It's probably what it was made for. Oh, I like this. So let's uh, use maybe this greenish one. Oh, fun. I like that a lot. So basically now that you've seen me do this, you know that what's coming up will require some envelopes like this and uh, maybe the crimson I don't know on the purple how it's gonna oh, it's pretty cool already the purple envelopes are cool in themselves do I have here that I could use? Maybe some of this, this is more grayish, I think. It gives a nice shimmery effect. It's, it's very subtle. Try a blue one. Uh, looks like it's clogged. I'm gonna have to unclog it. Hate when they do that. That's what happens when you don't use them too often. Okay, forget about that one. I'll get one of these days. Cool. And with envelopes, because they're so thin, you really need to let them dry for a while. Otherwise, when you try to use your punches and stuff on them, they don't uh, don't work too well. That was yellow, and this was um, Listo, the brushos.
think my thing I used to suspend it is going to be pretty much used up with these. Okay, so oh, I've got turquoise. I like the turquoise one. And uh, how about purple? See, this is kind of cool. And here, um, how about brilliant red? Look at that. Isn't that fun? It's very fun paper and very inexpensive paper as well. And no two will be made exactly the same. So that's kind of cool. Probably hearing some banging noise. It's my son that's upstairs from uh, over the garage. His room is upstairs, and uh, I believe he's playing with his cat right now. So let's use this blue one. I like that blue. Uh, to be put some oops, some people I really like the color of that one. Not sure if the camera is picking it up, but it's great fun. And so we've got one last little envelope. I think I'm just going to use some sprays on that one. Folks, that easy, but uh, 
I'm hoping that what I want to make with them is going to be fun. Otherwise, anyway, I could always make flowers or other things with them. So there's all kinds of ways that you can embellish them. And uh, I'm looking forward to hearing your comments about this. Thank you so much, Peggy, for the idea of using my brush rolls and my um, uh, Kencraft um, little color burst things. Because I haven't used them in a while and I really should use my stuff more. I get, I love getting new things and then I, I move on to something else and I forget about the old things. And yeah, I know I'm not the only one, but uh, that doesn't give me, give me an excuse to not change my ways, right? So yeah, that's it everyone. Bye.